everyone. Thank you so much for checking out Crafty Little Rosebud here on YouTube. As always, check out the description below. I will have links to today's items as long as they're still available. If they are not, I will link just the shops below. We are using the Erin Condren 2019 Monthly Planner. This is the Petite Planner, and this is my challenge planner for the year of 2019. Each month I'm doing a challenge. Some are budget, some are health and fitness, and some are just um, decluttering, cleaning, um, different things like that. Just trying out different things to see what I like. So we're, um, I was actually cleaning my desk. It's a complete mess and I don't have a backdrop. So I tried putting this little pretty planner folio back here to hopefully um, take away from the ugly desk that this is on. Um, we're gonna go ahead and jump into it. For April, we are going to do a squat challenge. I have done a 30 day plank challenge. I've done a no spend and I've done an ab challenge so far this year. And I'm really liking these fitness challenges. So I wanted to go ahead and try the last one that I had um, here. And so um, this one is the booty challenge. It's just squats each day. And so I'm going to lay these stickers down and then I'll cut this kind of pretty and lay it up here so we can keep track that this is the booty challenge. Although it says squats on it so you know what it's for. So um, we're just gonna go ahead and get these days laid out. Um, I'm really liking it so far. I got these from Nash's print work and um, I definitely am considering ordering another set of all of them um, because they've been a lot of fun so far. So they're labeled um, by the day and then they just tell you your prompt. So we're starting off with a bang though. Um, day one is 50 squats and I feel like that's a lot for a day one, but I... Uh, have no problem doing squats, so that doesn't bother me one bit. And I did cut up the sheets to fit in my little pouch that I keep with this planner, so I'm just gonna kinda lay them down a little out of order because that's how I cut my sheets. So, and this is a 30 day challenge. Um, I had some that overlapped like I did February and clearly February does not have 30 days so it overlapped into March so I was doing planks and abs for um, two days doing both and that was definitely definitely a challenge um, I'm not a huge fitness person I do enjoy um, like going for walks outside and stuff and I like playing with my daughter and I like riding bikes, um, and I don't mind like walking around amusement parks and stuff, that's fine, but I am not a huge gym buff. Um, I went to the gym on a regular basis before I had my daughter when I had time, and now I just, I don't have the time. And I know people say, well, you could make the time. Well, I'm a mom, I work full time, I go to school, um, working on my master's degree. I run an Etsy shop. I do a YouTube channel. I try to stay active on my Instagram and I try to get some sleep. So I really don't have time and I don't really care to make more time. This is about the amount of time I'm going to spend on it is doing these challenges. That's just how I feel about it though. And I get some people are way more busy than me and they make time and that's great. I don't, and that's fine. So anyways, rant over. Um, I'm super excited to try this one. Like I said, squats are not a problem for me. I have always enjoyed them for whatever reason. It's just one of those things it's easy to do anywhere, and I don't know. I just, it's one of those things I enjoy. So I might try to take on more squat challenges, or who knows, maybe I'll make some stickers, and I will just continue on this and try to keep building up the number. I don't know yet. We'll see. But um, I'm definitely excited to try the challenge. I think it's going to be a lot of fun and um, I think it'll be interesting to see if I can get up to the 250 squats by the end of this month because I don't know if I've ever done 250 squats um, ever. 
maybe accumulatively, but I know I definitely have not done 250 squats just one day. So let's just keep getting these laid out. Like I said, I did cut up the sheet kind of weird, so I'm kind of jumping around. So if anyone's sticking around through me talking, through laying these out, I'm really curious, um, what challenges have you all done? Like 30 day challenges, it doesn't have to be fitness. It can be, um, I mean, it can be anything. What challenges have you all done that you've enjoyed? I would love some suggestions on some to try out for the rest of this year, or if not this year, maybe next year, um, because I definitely like these little challenges. I know I want to, next year focus on doodle challenges i'm not an artist i'm artistically challenged is what i say um, and i would love to focus on doodles and see if i can't get a better ability of drawing um, i know that some people say that digital art is easier than actual like pen, pen and paper and i know some people say the other um, it's definitely something i want to get into and dabble with so I do want to do doodle challenges next year a lot more. Um, but what are some other things you all like to do? It can be fitness. It can be art. It, I mean, it can be anything. I just want some suggestions. Because um, I'm really interested in trying some more. So, and I am cutting out booty challenge with my little squiggly stickers. that Or my squiggly scissors. And they're not, they're very old scissors, so they're not doing their best job. Okay, so there is our booty challenge sticker. Not that it was cut to be a sticker, but it works. So we've got that laid out and we are ready to do our booty challenge for April 2019. So that's all I got for you tonight. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.